these are the helmets I was talking about in my other video. Uh, we're going to spray these with a the custom Rust-Oleum base. And then we're going to put the uh, pearl powder that y'all choose, whatever color y'all choose, on them. Um, I'm going to paint this one uh, probably that purple color I was talking about. And y'all get to choose which, whatever goes on this. Or we'll randomize it and figure out what we're going to do. <coughs> but uh yeah i picked these two helmets up at auction for a dollar a pop so uh if for a painting piece it's gonna be fine this one has some some serious damage on it uh the thing about helmets is if they're damaged like this you can't reuse them this one's probably fine it's got some scrapes in it but it doesn't have any cracks so far we'll see when we get it sanded down uh if there's any cracks but i will remove the dot sticker on this one it won't be reused it'll just be a shop piece you just lay it on a shelf and uh, let me get these, uh, start getting these prepped up and primed and everything, and uh, then uh, I'll bring you guys back. Okay guys, I went ahead and sanded the uh, helmet down, got all the old paint off of there, all the uh, beat up scuff marks. I used 120 grit on a five with a uh, five inch sander with an interface pad so I could get around the curves a little better, uh, get around the curves a little better here. You know, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this repair next. Go ahead and fix this and this, and there's several more. Uh, let me get those uh, prepped up and then I'll uh, bring you back, guys. Okay, we added the uh, fiberglass reinforced uh, filler to the helmet. So, we use this um, Rio Flex brand right here. And I, I went ahead and stirred up the, uh, the entire container here. I stirred it up and it the consistency is a lot better than the last time I used it. It, it, it just settled. Um, and it, it pretty much is given the same kind of consistency as the Bondo brand does. So it's not too bad. So I'm going to end up using this more. And it was $30 for that Rio Flex. For that big tub of Rio Flex. But we got to go ahead and let this uh, cure up. The first time I mixed it, I did use too much... Uh, too much of the peroxide as usual um, and it dried so I had to remix some more and put it on there but uh yeah we'll let this uh, get cured up put it out in the sun for a few minutes and uh, 
Then we'll go ahead and continue our blocking and sanding. done here is I've taken the, um, the 80 grit paper the P80 and I didn't wait till this totally cured up and it was rock hard what I did is I waited till it was pretty much solidified just tacky you can put your finger on it you can feel it's kind of still sticky just maybe a, a minute after that and then what I'll do is I'll take the P80 and I'll hit all the high spots where when I ran my knife across it I left some ridges because this is a pretty hard curve and I didn't uh, I didn't cut the edges off or any of that because this is still too sharp of a curve to not leave uh, you know your ridges on it but uh yeah see I just knock it down with that 80 grit and get it most of it down and then what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and back to the 120 grit and we'll uh, sand all this down and then we'll hand sand it to get it perfect So that's the first coat of primer. I'll go ahead and put one more coat on it and that'll be enough. Uh, I gotta let this flash off for a minute. Um, about 15 minutes and I'll come back and put another coat on. Okay, we've got three coats of primer on here. So now we need to block it out and find out if we need to do any more repair on it or if it's ready to go. So. We'll go ahead and get a guide coat on there. If I can see a couple low spots, I don't know if y'all can, like right there. And there's a couple rough spots around the base. But we're always going to use a guide coat. We're going to stick with our practices. And as more experienced people do this kind of work, they get really accustomed at being able to know where they've got problems and not. So they don't necessarily use a guide coat as much as you would uh, think. So if you're just starting out, that guide coat's your friend. Um, and it doesn't lie. Your fingers can lie, your eyes can lie. 
but that guy coat's not gonna lie to you so uh, let me uh, let this uh, flash off for a little bit and I'll get back with you
Okay guys, this is uh, three coats of the base. This is that Rust-Oleum that I mixed up right here. There's the paint. Three coats of that right there on your, uh, your helmet. So, uh, the next step is going to be to add the effect, which is going to be adding this to some clear coat and then spraying it over that base. But the best option is really to wait until that's completely dry to do that. So, I'll get back with you when I'm spraying that on there. Okay, guys. Um, I mixed up 12 ounces of the uh, system 20 U-Pulse system 20 UP 28 22 clear I mixed it up in here and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take about four ounces of that out and put it in another container so let me mix it up and This is just the clear right now. And it's catalyzed just as it's supposed to be mixed. It's not thinned or anything, so let me see if I can take four ounces out of that without spilling it. Okay, so I should have close to eight ounces there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and take, it's a half teaspoon and I'm gonna add that to the half pint of clear I have there. Okay, so I've got a half a teaspoon here. I'm gonna add it to that. Then what we need to do is go ahead and agitate it. Okay, I think I'm going to add another half of uh, a teaspoon. Okay, here's the second one. Okay, I like that a lot better than I did the other one. So in a half a pint, I put this orange in there at two. Uh, basically one teaspoon per half pint of this clear coat. And I'll continue mixing this and then uh, I'll go ahead and get you on when I'm gonna spray it on the helmet there. But yeah, that's pretty. But that's the helmet we're gonna spray it on.
Okay guys, there's the first coat with that effect in there. So that's the kind of effect you get with it. So let's go ahead and put some more on there. And I'll uh, catch y'all catch y'all back on. Okay, guys, I've got three coats of the uh, orange on there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add half this and half of this. Uh, the shimmer cream and the shimmer silver. So I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon into the four ounces. So it'll be an eighth of a teaspoon for both one and two. Then I'm gonna pour it in this. This is uh, the actual reducer. I'm gonna reduce that. That's a urethane reducer for this clear coat. And there's the clear that we had from earlier. So uh, I'm gonna mix these into the reducer, stir it up, and then we'll pour it into the clear. Okay guys, just for my personal peace of mind, always put a respirator on even when you're mixing this stuff. Um, I'm only doing this because I want y'all to be able to hear what I'm saying. So, yeah, I don't even like messing with any of this urethane stuff uh, without wearing a respirator. So, here, but now I'm going to mix this pearl. You need to let the pearl sit in here for a, a few minutes into the reducer. Because some of the uh, the pigments and things that they put in there, they'll, they'll actually break down in the reducer and make a better effect for you. So we're gonna go ahead and pour this into the clear. And then we've got our clear. And you need to mix this up real well. And this is going to give you that that pearl effect. You can't see it on the stick. But yeah, this is going to be one of the coats here. But yeah, let me get this in the gun and then uh, I'll cut y'all back on. Okay, guys. We're done. I, uh, Ended up putting uh, two coats on there of the pearl because then I ran out. But um, here's the stuff I used. Uh, I used the uh, System 20 clear coat. I used uh, Sunny Orange over the base. And then I used these two uh, pearl powders right here. Then I used Rust-Oleum Red, Yellow, and White. And I mixed up... Uh, a base color that was close to that color and then uh, I went ahead and sprayed it and uh, that's what we got we got a pretty crazy looking little effect there but to answer the question, can you paint your car with Rust-Oleum and get some crazy results? I think so. You uh, can experiment and get different effects with it. But yeah. That's it done up. Now, if you guys want me to sand that and flow coat it to get it a little bit better on the shine, uh, I can do that. 
but uh y'all just let me know in the comments and thanks for watching guys really thank you and please comment